Jordan Page, a Mormon influencer who lives in Utah, just announced that she wants to coach her viewers. She is charging $147 for her coaching program. Jordan often refers to herself as a teacher. She said she's been teaching on social media for over a decade, but she's never put out a program like this before. Jordan sells planners. She has a shelf cooking membership. Budgeting is also a huge piece of Jordan's content, but this coaching seems to be different. She said people are asking for a deeper level of help, so she has cleared her schedule and she wants to teach viewers for $147 how to have systems in place to achieve their goals. Life coaching in Utah is controversial at the moment, to say the least, because of the Jody Hildebrandt, Ruby Frankie criminal case. Ruby Frankie's estranged husband, Kevin Frankie, submitted a letter to the Utah State Senate's Business and Labor Committee, which will discuss a bill that would establish a registration process for life coaches in the state of Utah. This bill would require the Division of Professional Licensing to grant life coaches registration. It would also grant the decision the authority to revoke a life coach registration and for the division to define what unlawful conduct and unprofessional conduct means for a life coach. This bill was presented to the Senate Business and Labor Committee and some big takeaways. It would require life coaches to register with DOPL or the Division of Professional Licensing and would also just regulate them more. His name is Kevin Frank. Bill sponsor Senator David Hinkins read out loud a letter from Kevin Frankie, who says these two women, his wife Ruby Frankie and her former mentor or life coach Jody Hildebrandt, destroyed his family. They're going to prison for abusing his children. My children have been turned upside down and my marriage ended. Kevin's attorney, Randy Kester, says what's happened to the Frankie family is a big reason why the life coaching requirements bill is getting attention. The severity of the damage that their family uh, suffered. Licensed marriage and family therapist Sarah Strope spoke in support of this bill. It really just comes down to a safety thing. She says there is a role for life coaches in our state. We're not saying life coaches inherently are bad. We're not saying they don't bring value. We're saying there needs to be some structure so that everyone can be safe and consumers know what they're getting. While Hildebrand's story is extreme, she says it's not the only problem she's seen here. We've seen people lose tens of thousands of dollars on programs or be given really bad information that does cause harm. Anyone can be a life coach. <laughs> to be a therapist, we have to go through years of schooling. For too long, some of these coaches have been preying on vulnerable individuals in the state who need to the help of legitimate licensed professionals. Several lawmakers did voice support for this bill, but they did have questions about it. It was decided that it would be further studied this summer and then brought back for next legislative session. I tracked the bill at trackbill.com and the last information provided on this bill was on March 1st, 2024. And it says the Senate strike enacting clause. When a motion to strike the enacting clause passes by constitutional majority, the bill from which the enacting clause was stricken is dead and may not be revived. And that's the most current information I could find on this bill at this time. Jordan Page announced her divorce from her husband Bubba on March 23rd of 2024. So approximately 12 days after she announced her divorce and just a few weeks after she filed for divorce, she announced her life coaching program on April 4th of 2024. Jordan made this announcement kind of on the whim. She was out of town on spring break with her kids. And she starts off by saying, ready for it. Let's do something we've never done before. It seems like Jordan is using that phrase more and more these days since filing for divorce. Recently, she did a bathing suit try on haul. And she also said, this is something I promised myself I would never do. But here I am doing it. But before that, I'm going to do something that I literally swore myself, swore to myself I would never do. Oh, my hair. And that is a swimsuit try on. Jordan has been saying for a while now she wants to get back to her roots, educating, connection, and helping you. And she actually did a free workshop not too long ago in Utah. So local people could attend the workshop for free. 
but she had a lot of issues, a lot of technical problems, and it did seem a little chaotic and not very well planned out. With the economy the way it is, I have felt more and more of a pull from me and a desire from many of you based on conversations we've had that you're just looking for a deeper level of help. And I think I have a way to make that happen. Jordan said she has cleared her schedule for the next six weeks and she wants to coach you. And it's not about your goals. Goals aren't enough. Tips aren't enough. It's about systems. I'm currently reading Atomic Habits and Atomic Habits talks in detail about how goals are great, but in order to accomplish your goals, you have to have systems in place. So when I heard Jordan say this, I thought she's talking about Atomic Habits. This is one of the lessons in Atomic Habits. Forget about setting goals. Focus on your system instead. Goals are about the results you want to achieve. Systems are about the process that lead to those results. Because what it comes down to is you can have all the goals in the world. You can have all the budget goals. You can have all the productivity goals. You can try to, you know, cut your grocery bill in half and be better about it. But if you do not have the systems in place in your life to make those goals attainable, then a goal is just something written on a piece of paper that fades out in a month. It's all about the systems. It's not quick tips. It's not goals. It's not centering cold plungers or mediation. It is the systems that will help you get there. And I know how to help you make systems. In a viewer said, as a life coach, she should know you don't start something new like this while going through a life event such as a divorce. Any reputable real life coach would tell you this right off. She has eight children she should be focusing on and helping them through this, not taking more time, energy, and attention away from them. And I want to coach you. Every Wednesday for six weeks, I will instruct you you know, and, and teach you things, but mostly I will be there to answer your questions, help you with your situation and walk you through how to actually apply the tools that can make a difference in your life. Jordan's coaching program is called Hot Mess Express. Weekly 90 minute classes live and online includes instruction on family systems for budgeting, time management, meal planning, plus Q and A with Jordan includes unlimited replays and download digital resources, and it's $147. Reddit was talking about the price of Jordan's program, and someone said the price is insane. I'm assuming she wants to market people wanting to save money. What a random number too, not $140 or 150 Seems like she could get more for these tips if she charged a price people could afford in this economy. Someone said it's a manipulation tactic. That's why it's $147. It's psychology. People are more likely to buy something if it ends in a seven or a nine. Now you'll notice how often people price using those numbers. Less than a week after announcing her coaching program, she gets on Instagram to talk about it again. And she says, really quick, let's talk about it. A few questions about my coaching that I'm doing. And I in case you missed it, uh, I'm just going to go over it really quick. And Jordan tends to do this when she's talking about programs she's offering. When she goes through her planners, she often says, okay, I don't have much time, but let me show you my planner. Or, okay, I don't have much time, but let me talk about my coaching program. She seems very rushed. And she actually says sometimes that she doesn't have enough time to talk about this, but she's just going to quickly talk about this. And she's trying to sell a product here. So I think that taking more time, explaining more things, answering questions about the program, all of that would be really helpful when trying to sell a program like this. I'm doing what I'm calling the Hot Mess Express boot camp, but ultimately just coaching group coaching. I want to get back to my roots. Where it all began is I wasn't just teaching about budgeting or productivity or meal planning. Next, Jordan said she's going to put some people in the hot seat because this is a group coaching session. So you have to talk about your issues in front of a group of people that you've never met before. So she's going to put some people on the hot seat and go through your pain points. I'll put some of you in the hot seat and we'll go through your pain points and your, your situation and, and in real time help you set up systems in your own life. Jordan said her class was pretty much full. 
She filled up pretty quickly, but her team figured out a way to open up a few more spots because they can kind of break into smaller groups and still keep things intimate. Jordan said, so go check it out. There's a few spots left. If Jordan is doing the coaching for a group of people, how do you break into smaller groups? And she's doing this over Zoom as well. Finance and budgeting will be part of Jordan's coaching, and she recently got on Instagram and asked viewers for their favorite financial dashboards. Do you think she's going to use this information that viewers give her in her coaching program? People on Reddit are saying she always asks her followers to do the work for her. She's asked multiple times, what can I do for you? What do you need from me? I'm here for you. If she's the expert and content creator, shouldn't she already know what to put in her content? Doesn't she have a marketing person on her team? Why do the followers need to come up with content for her? Also, Jordan, so guys, what's your favorite financial app? One that does everything, preferably free. Just tell me all about them and I'll make a post that will get me views and engagement. Probably looking for a financial advice for her coaching and preferably free while I can charge y'all $150. After Jordan asked for this information about financial dashboards, she did say that she would take the information and she typically does this. She takes the information viewers give her and she makes a blog post or sometimes a video or an Instagram reel, whatever she wants to do with it, but typically it's a blog post about it. And she makes money off her blog. She has ads on her blog. And the more clicks she can get on that blog, the more money she makes. What do you think about Jordan's coaching program? And what do you think about life coaches in general? Do you think there should be more regulations and laws around life coaches? Do you think more systems should be put in place to protect consumers? Leave a comment. Thanks for watching YouTuber Headlines today. I'll talk to you soon in the next video. Bye.